In this week's lesson, we will take a look at two different forms of Japanese artwork. One is called anime. This is Japanese for animation or cartoon. In Japan, anime is the word that is used for all animation. If you look on Netflix Kids right now, there are several Japanese animations that are there and available for you. Make sure that if you do watch something, you ask your parents before you do so. Not all anime is made for children, but there are some pretty good ones. Pokemon is always safe, as well as some of the others that are listed here. Then, the other word you might hear is manga. And manga is totally different. Manga is a Japanese comic book. And the really cool thing about manga is that they are traditionally not read like our books. They are read from right to left, which makes them a little different. This is a great example of what a manga book would look like. There are very few words, but lots of great pictures. Perhaps one of the most popular animes in Japan is Doraemon. He is a children's favorite, which has been aired on TV all over the world for a long time. The plot is simple, and each story is easy for children to understand. It is about an elementary school boy, Nobita. He has a problem related to the school or friends. And then Doraemon, a robot coming from the 22nd century, helps him to solve the issues with futuristic gadgets. You can enjoy the anime with one-shot episodes, while the long series anime consists of thousands of episodes. Doraemon has been made into movies and as a 3D computer anime for recent years. And perhaps one that you're a little more familiar with, Pokemon. Pokemon is the greatest Japanese family-friendly anime that is watched by domestic and international kids. It's also known for the popular video game since the first title was released in 1996. The protagonist, Ash Ketchum, who is known as Satu Satoshi in Japan, sets out on a journey with his Pokemon, like Pikachu, to become a Pokemon master. There are numerous big fans of Pokemon around the world, which include not just kids, but adults. Recently, there was a new movie that came out that was Detective Pikachu, as well as the popular Pokemon Go game. And currently, Pokemon is in the Happy Meals at McDonald's. So, what exactly makes anime different from the American cartoons? One thing you will notice about Japanese anime is that they have exaggerated eyes. A lot of times they will be unnatural eye colors. You might see fun shades of green or purple or gray. The eyes will capture more light than your eye ever would in a picture. You will see little reflections of white on each of the eyes. And typically their eyes are very large. You will also see some notable shine. One thing that's interesting is that their eyelashes are simplified and the ink is much darker around the eyes than any other feature on the entire character. Another characteristic of an anime character is that their hair. Frequently, they use some very unnatural hair colors. It is not abnormal to see purple or gray or blue hair on many of the characters. Their hair is somewhat see-through as well. Even though the hair covers their eyes and eyebrows, you're still able to see them. And my favorite thing, their hair defies gravity. It stands straight up and it stays this way with all movements. And perhaps one of the funniest things in anime is the exaggerated mouths. The larger the mouth, the more emotion that the character is showing. A small mouth often displays a sweet personality. Teeth, well, they're optional when drawing a big mouth. They're used to show emotions as well. Sharp teeth are for anger, an evil or cheeky grin, fangs, etc. 
If you look at my Bitmoji, you will see that the teeth definitely give my character some expression. Hmm, what expression am I showing here? Some popular anime that you might have watched was produced by Studio Ghibli. This may look familiar because in the, in the United States, when the films were produced in English, they were distributed by the Disney Company. Some of my favorite titles include Spirited Away, Ponyo, and My Neighbor Totoro. A fun little fact for you. Totoro is a mispronunciation of the word for troll in Japanese. The word for troll is pronounced Tororu in Japanese, which sounds familiar to what Mei calls the fluffy forest creature that she's encountered. When Mei tells her sister what she saw, Satsuki asks if she's talking about the troll in one of their books, and Mei nods. This doesn't make quite as much sense in English because Troll and Totoro don't sound different. But it starts to come together when the movie's closing credits roll. Their mother can be seen reading them the fairy tale The Three Billy Goats Gruff, which, if you recall, contains a troll character. For this reason, it's believed to be the book that May refers to. However... The creator wrote in the art of my neighbor, Totoro, it is the name of our protagonist, the four-year-old May gives these creatures. No one knows what their real name is. So it was created by a child. Totoro is pretty famous. If you look carefully in this picture from Toy Story, you might see him hiding on the floor of Andy's room. Do you see him? He has made several appearances in many of the Pixar films. Meet Hayao Miyazaki. He was born in 1941. A few fun facts about him. He is the great mind behind many of Studio Ghibli's work. One thing I thought was cool was that he has a love of airplanes. And his love of airplanes is very evident in many of his anime films. In fact, the word Ghibli, the name of his studio, is actually an Italian word for a summer wind that comes from the Sahara, affecting several countries in northern Africa and southern European countries. There was also a World War II aircraft from the same country which gen uh, garnered the same nickname. Its name indicated the studio's ambitions to be a force within the animation industry. And yes, I think they have totally nailed it and lived up to that name. One other thing that's quite interesting is that Mizaki does not start all of his films with a script. He starts by drawing. The other thing that is interesting is that many of his protagonists or the main character that the anime is about, are about strong girls. Well, now it is your turn. I want you to grab some scrap paper, some markers, crayons, and try your hand at drawing some Kodomo anime. This is the type of anime that is geared towards children. There are several tutorials to choose from on the Global Studies site. Or you can even try to turn yourself into an anime character and draw your self-portrait. Don't forget to use the exaggerated big eyes, exaggerated big mouth, and the hair that defies gravity. Share your creation in the Flipgrid when you're done. I can't wait to see what you create. If you don't want to draw yourself as an anime, that's all right. There are some other very fun things to draw. There are several Pokemon tutorials, as well as some kawaii. Kawaii in Japanese means cute. Things like sushi and Japanese favorites from Sanrio, like Hello Kitty. All right, have a great time, and I will see you back here next Monday. Have a good week, everyone. Sayonara. Arigato.